Persia, there was a king named Xerxes and a queen named Vashti. One evening, when Xerxes was drunk with his friends and advisors, he called for his wife, the queen, to show her off, for she was very pretty. When she refused, he was infuriated. Now, one of Xerxes' advisors was a wicked man named Haman. Let's see what's going on in the throne room. Sir, if all the women see that it is all okay to disrespect their husbands, then bad things could happen. This is true. So, what should I do? You should issue a royal decree that Vashti shall be banished, and that wives throughout the kingdom shall respect their husbands no matter what their ranking. That is good. It shall be done. So Vashti has been banished, but now there's no queen. Xerxes began to feel very lonely. I wonder what they will do about this. I have noticed that you are very lonely. <laughs> yes, I am, for I have no wife. Send your advisors out to search the entire kingdom to find the most beautiful young virgin for the king. Okay, then. See that it is done. So they went out and found Esther, our hero, and she was soon married to Xerxes. Now Esther lived with her uncle, Mordecai. Mordecai warned her not to tell anyone that she was a Jew, and she obeyed. In the meantime, Haman had worked his way up and was now the prime minister. He thought that with such power, people should bow to him. I see, I see commotion at the castle gate. Let's see what's going on. Bow down to me, all of you. Bow. <laughs> Everyone in the kingdom bowed with respect for Haman whenever he was near, except for Mordecai. Why do you not bow to me, Mordecai? I do not bow because you are not worthy. <laughs> <laughs> This made Haman furious, but instead of trying to take down Mordecai himself, he decided to take it out on Mordecai's entire race, the Jews. I, King Xerxes, issue a royal decree to annihilate the Jews, for they do not obey the king's laws, only the laws of their own people. They should not be allowed to live. Okay, Haman, I trust you. Just choose the date. Okay. Does the 28th day of February this coming year sound good? Yes, that is fine. Here is my ring so that you can make it official. Thank you. <laughs> Esther! Uncle Morka! You must help. Haman <laughs> has told the king to kill all the Jews and you must stop him. How? I can't do that. I would be killed if I approached the king uninvited. God has put you here in this position for a reason. Okay, I'll try <laughs> my best. <coughs> so Esther prayed and fasted for three days, and all of the Jews prayed over her. When she was done, <coughs> she went to see the king. Esther, enter, please. What is it you want? Even half the kingdom, I will give it to you. What is it? I only wish to have dinner with you and Haman. So they went to dinner. <laughs> <laughs> so, Esther, what is it you wanted to ask me? I will answer your question tomorrow if you will have dinner with me again. Okay, we will. <laughs> As Henry leaves the banquet, he sees Mordecai, and Mordecai still does not bow to him. Bow to me, Mordecai! <laughs> no, I will not. Tomorrow, you shall die on the gallows. Haman had half to plan with his wife to hang Mordecai on the 75 feet tall gallows that he had built specifically for Mordecai. That night, Xerxes had his chronicle read to him because he couldn't sleep. It was brought to his attention that Mordecai had uncovered an assassination plot against him, but was never rewarded. Haman, 
What should the reward be for a man who has saved the king? Oh, okay. Well, you should give him your finest robe and lead <laughs> him around the city on your strongest steed for everyone to see. Fantastic. Tomorrow, do this for Mordecai, please. <laughs> so Haman reluctantly paraded Mordecai around the city and had no time to kill him before dinner with Esther. <laughs> Xerxes, someone is planning to kill me and my people, for I am a Jew. A plot has also been made to kill Mordecai, the one who saved your life. What? Who has plotted this? Haman, your advisor! Haman, you shall be hanged on the gallows you had made for Mordecai. No! <laughs> so Esther saved Mordecai and the Jews and got rid of that awful, wicked Haman. And then they all had a party. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 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 Thanks, guys. You just gave away the sermon for Sunday. But now y'all don't have to come to church. No, but you still do. It's all the sweet. But um, thank you for doing the puppet show. I hope y'all really liked it. So um, thank you, guys. Next is a song by, well, she's singing it, and it's called Temporary Home by Michaela, and she'll just be singing it, and I think she's ready, so here we go. 